Glamorgan made it two wins out of two at the start of this season's Royal London One Day Cup competition as they chased down a target of 308 to beat Surrey with nine balls to spare in Guildford. Surrey were invited to bat after losing the toss and Graham Wagg got the big wicket of Tilakaratni Dilshan who lost his middle stump in the third over of the innings. Glamorgan, who thrashed Middlesex on Saturday, had made a late change to their side when their captain Jim Allenby was taken ill in the morning. An excellent all-rounder, especially in the one-day format. He was bound to be missed and Surrey hoped to take advantage as Stephen Davis and Jason Roy raced the score along to 79 in the opening 13 overs with some scorching stroke play. Roy had made 34 when he sliced a drive off Jacques Rudolph Murray Goodwin completing the dismissal with a catch at deep cover. In the next over, Vikram Solanke was sent back by Davis to be run out for a single, with his side on 82 for three after 15 entertaining overs. Much of that entertainment had come from Davis, who reached his 50 off his 43rd delivery with a single off Dean Koska, just after he'd struck his eighth boundary in what was a knock, which had given his side a speedy start to their innings. But in the next over, the 18th, he nicked off to Andrew Salter, leaving with his side on 100 for four. Losing wickets at regular intervals was holding Surrey back a bit. They next lost Gary Wilson, who, eight runs later, top edged a sweep off Koska to Goodwin. Nine overs then went by without a boundary as Glamorgan began to squeeze. But as a Mahmood began to open up to help take the total to 143 for five with 20 overs remaining. Mahmood and Rory Burns needed to consolidate before going for a dash in the last few overs of the innings. Burns had hit only one boundary off his first 57 deliveries, but he then went after James Harris with a couple of classy drives through cover and down the ground. At last, a good partnership was developing for the home side, one of the favourites to take the road to Lords this year. Both of these men made 50s, Mahmoud got to his off 53 balls and in innings including 5 fours, proving that good scores made at a good pace can still come after taking time to bed in at the crease. Burns also proved that. This shot took him to his first one-day half century of 72 deliveries. He'd found the boundary on only four occasions, but had set up the innings nicely, taking the total to 222 for five with 10 overs remaining. Mahmood was out in the next one for 57 as he was trapped in front by Koska, but he had given the rest a chance to have a real go. Burns began to do just that. This huge six off Will Bragg carried right out of the ground. The left-hander began to produce all the shots in the book, twice reverse sweeping Salter to the boundary off successive deliveries. The total read 287 with three overs to go and then Zafar Ansari pulled Harris to Goodwin who bagged his third catch of the day. Burns was out for 87 in the penultimate over. His 95th ball was his last one. Going a little too far across his stumps he was bowled by Wag, but it helped his side make a more than handy 307 for 8 from their 50 overs. Bragg opened up for Glamorgan, having got to the game late after being phoned in the morning to be told about Allenby's illness. Instead of spending the day in the garden, he now had a crucial role to play for his team, who had a tough task ahead of them. He and Rudolph started the reply with a stand of 27 in the first five overs, only for the latter to chop a ball from Mahmood back onto his stumps on 10. Surrey included two youngsters in their attack, Spinner Freddie Vandenberg and paceman George Edwards. Vandenberg bowled tidily on debut while Edwards was hit to all parts by David Lloyd and Bragg. Indeed, 31 runs were taken off three overs from the young bowler as the two visiting batsmen ensured that their side were not going to be left a long way behind in this contest. They were going along nicely until Lloyd stuttered in running a single and was run out by Wilson for 32 with the score on 93 for two after 18 overs. Bragg reached his 50 in the 20th over, by the end of which the total had moved on to 105 for two. The left-hander had needed 63 balls for his half-century, and he got to his mark with his sixth four. He added a seventh of his very next delivery. It's been a few years since we've had a domestic 50-over tournament, but at the age of 41, Goodwin has played plenty in his time. 
He knew just what was required from him. He didn't have too much time to settle in and he began to play his shot soon after coming to the crease. It was his knock which gave his side a real chance of chasing down this large target to give last year's beaten 40 over finalists a real chance of recording back-to-back -back victories. With 20 overs left, Glamorgan had reduced the target down to 141, with Bragg striking the first six of the reply off Dilshan. Goodwin got to his half-century, the 82nd time he'd got that far in the one-day arena, off 50 balls. He'd struck eight fours in that, and then added two more and a maximum in the next over, bowled by Edwards. The 200 was brought up in the 34th over, but in the 36th, Goodwin, on a 74 made from 65 balls, missed time to pull off Stuart Meeker and was caught by Edwards. It was now that Surrey threatened to pull this game back in their favour. Meeker struck again in his next over as Bragg somehow edged behind to go for 88. Burns took another good catch behind the stumps off Meeker to then remove Chris Cook for 8. Before three balls later, Ben Wright edged Ansari to Dilshan to go for a duck. And when Mark Wallace gave Mika his fourth wicket by skying a catch to Ansari, Glamorgan were left on 268 for seven with 33 balls remaining. 39 more were wanted as we entered the last five overs after the Welshman had lost five wickets for 52 runs in nine overs, but Wag and Salter kept their heads and found boundaries just when they were needed. They brought the target down to just seven runs off the last two overs. And they needed only three balls of the penultimate one to get their side over the line. Wag hitting 37 off 35 balls to take his side to a very impressive victory on a day where a good crowd in Guildford was royally entertained. Glamorgan got to 308 for the loss of seven wickets after 48.3 overs to take this game by three wickets with nine balls to spare and to move to the top of Group B with two wins from two. They now take on Nottinghamshire in Cardiff in a day-nighter on Wednesday for a repeat of last year's final, while Surrey head across the Thames to Lords for a local derby with Middlesex on Thursday.